I have two questions for you, Mr Mozzie. One is, um, the first ones are just a yes or no. You, you're to, you talk about parallel legal system. Is it right that any decision made by any Sharia council, well, is it legally binding in this country according to the law of this land? Yes or no? Well, it doesn't matter if it's no, legally it, it, binding I'm just asking for a yes or no There answer. is no yes or no. Because but there is. It's not no, legally binding. It doesn't matter. Okay, can, it, I just, can I just uh, move on to my It doesn't matter one. if it's not legally so. binding because for the women, and especially the vulnerable women who go to So it's to not them, a parallel legal system then, is it? It's it's to- it is because the law of God is, su- is, is the most... You know, it can be the most frightening thing to disobey the rule of God. And when you go to a court of God and where they say that the rules are divine and if you don't abide by these rules, you can go to hell, you're committing zina, but you're Mr. committing Mavi, apostasy. Mr. Mavi, according to it your blog, which very, I read very earlier, dangerous and you, according to a blog that I read earlier, this isn't just about Sharia courts. If, you, if, you were, if we were to look at your implementation of the view of the world, we wouldn't have any, you, the majority of the discrimination would be faced by the 33 million Christians in this country because you'd have a way with Christianity, you'd have a way with, and this is according to your blog, with any religious institution this is not about, no. But but it is, isn't it? No, because what you're saying is, is you're denying you, everybody's no, religious human rights. No, people have a right rights. to religion or not having a religion. However, it doesn't mean because you're a Christian you need to go to an ecclesiastic court for your divorce. If you're Jewish, you have to go to the Beth Din. If you're Muslim, you have to go to the Sharia court. If you're Hindu, you have to go to some Hindutva court. The point is that we are first and foremost citizens in this country. There are rights that have been fought for over centuries for women, equal where they have equal rights, where their testimony is not worth half that of a man's, where men don't have unilateral rights to divorce, where women have to go through a million loopholes to get their basic right, where domestic violence by some of the Sharia judges are, is considered uh, fine, uh, where the judge will ask the woman, well, w- did you ask him why he beats you? Is it because you didn't cook dinner or is it because you're going out with your friends? Where you have a Sharia judge saying that marital rape is not a crime, it's not an act of aggression, mm-hmm. calling it rape is the act of aggression. In this situation, I clearly absolutely, there's absolutely a problem. Agree. So I it's not an attack on the right of religion. Okay. So please no, no, no. don't make it such. I agree. It's I'll a, make my final